Andrew Maxwell, Mickey Bartlett, and the awesome comic and actor Shane Todd. Facing them, Jim Owen, Michael Smiley, and our monumental guest, Dana. Please welcome your host, Jared Christmas. Hello and welcome to Monumental, the show about Northern Ireland, hosted by a Kiwi. My job tonight is to be an independent observer on this show and find out what is monumental about this beautiful place. This round goes by the name of Mystery Monumental. It's all about people who have achieved greatness that you might not know about. All our teams have to do is guess what amazing feat these people have achieved. So please, welcome tonight's Mystery Monumental guest, Patrick Houston! <laughs> Patrick is the world junior champion at something, but can you guess what it is just by looking at him? Junior champion. <laughs> yeah. So it's not shaving or anything like that. <laughs> it's, not, it's not ironing in your shirt either. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wardrobe for you, you can't blame them. Is it a sport? Yes, it is. It is a sport. Does it involve a ball? It does not. No. It doesn't. Uh, first clue is a headline. Golden Patrick aims for Olympics. Shot. Your shooter. Guns. It's an Olympic sport. Yep. Yes, it is. But it's but something it's... that you can shoot or throw. When you throw it, do you go, let it, let it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, the second clue is a piece of equipment which Patrick always uses in this event. It's a mouse. It's like a small rubber cat. A small rubber cat? Yeah. We hold on the centre as well. A rubber cat with a hole down the centre? <laughs> That'll never stand up in court. I think I saw you on the end of the news, would that be right? Olympic, no, 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 Olympic no. weather watching? <laughs> Archery? Yep, it is Good. indeed. Well done! Patrick Houston has won two gold medals in the World Archery Youth Championships in 2013. What's the little rabbit thing? What was that? Uh, that's, the when, when you're shooting, the arrow sticks into the target really, really hard, and that's a wee rubber grip thing, so it just fits over the top and you help pull the arrow out with it. Now, because you guys lost, Jim Owen, mm -hmm. Patrick is going to shoot an apple off your head, Jim Owen. <laughs> Bring on the target! <laughs> Andrew, step up, mate. You are going to have to fire an arrow just to show us how difficult it is. All right. right? We've got another bow and arrow for you. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> That's all you, mate. That is all you. You've got such a pretty bow. <laughs> you look like the scalliest Cupid ever. <laughs> Guys, come and stand over behind here. I'll, I'll protect you. Archers, when you're ready. Aye. Oh, yeah, that's a pirate. Show us how it's really done. Good body position. Oh! Oh! Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the monumental Patrick Houston! Well, it's almost time to announce the winners. Well, next tonight on BBC One Northern Ireland, Matt Damon, Bill Murray and Hugh Bonneville all join Graham Norton. And after becoming a world champion at youth level, one of our up-and-coming athletes has only one thing on his mind. Schoolboy Patrick Houston is dreaming of becoming our next big winner on the Olympic stage, as Ruth Gorman reports. Watch out for 18-year-old Patrick Houston. The Campbell College student could be one of our main hopefuls for the Rio Olympics in 2016. 
Towards the end of last year, Houston won two gold medals at the World Archery Youth Championships. He's just started competing at senior level with Team GB. Well, Team GB have been very, very supportive. They want me over training at Lillishaw, the National Sporting Centre, as much as I can. Um, they named me the British Olympic Association Archery Athlete of the Year um, in December there. So it's very nice to have that support. Houston was introduced to the sport at school when he was eight years old by Audrey Needham. She herself was successful at British level. I really am so proud of him. So I am. He's worked hard, worked very, very hard. I mean, you know, he, he could hardly hit the target whenever he was in prep four, and just to watch him grow has been tremendous. He's every coach's dream because he listens, he tries, you know, and he never throws, you know, a hissy fit or anything like that. He's very focused. The ultimate aim for Houston is to win Olympic gold. It would be brilliant. It is the pinnacle of the sport. There's the World Championships, then probably the Commonwealth, and then the Olympics. So if I win that, that would be my absolute goal. I'll win the Olympics twice, and then I'll retire. Houston's talent was spotted early on as the Mary Peters Trust added him to their athlete scheme. And as he's now reaping the rewards, he's enjoying the taste of success. I was at an indoor World Cup this weekend over in Telford and I had people coming up and asking me for autographs. Now that is a really weird thing for an 18 year old boy to have but honestly it's, it, is, it is a great pleasure. Juggling his A-levels and archery proves Houston has many strings to his bow but after he finishes school the main target is Rio. Ruth Gorman, UTV Live. Really on target there isn't he? Well don't forget to join me again at half past ten for UTV Excitement is building ahead of the Rio Olympics and ITV is calling on sports clubs and activity groups to play their part in what could be the nation's biggest sports day. Thousands of free events will be held as part of I Am Team GB. It's backed by us here at UTV and the National Lottery. When you hit those hard parts, you, you just got to think of your long-term goal and that's to, to be going to the Olympics this summer. You get to win as a team, lose as a team, and you get to share those fantastic experiences with a group of other like-minded individuals. It's really given me the confidence to fulfil my dreams, ultimately. On August the 27th, ITV is inviting you to help keep the Olympic legacy alive. Hi, I'm Tom Daly and I am Team GB. Famous faces going for gold in Rio are backing the ITV event, giving sports clubs and activity groups the chance to open their doors and welcome in brands new members. And it's got plenty of backing from athletes heading to Rio this summer, like the archer Patrick Houston from Belfast. Sport has given me the opportunity to set myself goals, push myself both phys physically and mentally, and been able to achieve them. It's really given me a really strong purpose in life. It's given me a family, family of friends across the country and across the world, and it really does make you feel included, wanted and loved. For more details on how you can play your part, head to the website, IamTeamGB.com. Hi, my name's Daniel Goodfellow. I'm Naomi Falkard. Thank you for your support and thank you for getting involved with I Am Team GB. So come on board. Well, one... Letters. What, what was your... Someone's waving behind you. Who's that, Kat? Oh, we saw a hand and now they've gone shy. <laughs> Hello. Who's that? Do you, do you want to say hi? Welcome home. Uh, Hi there. <laughs> Sorry, introduce yourselves and tell us what, what you did in Rio. I'm Patrick Houston. I'm from Archery, Archery TV. It's been a Yeah, we're, we're struggling to hear you, but it's great to have you home. We're really looking forward to you all coming off the flight. And now, he's just 20 years old and at junior level is a three-time world champion. But this summer comes the biggest challenge of them all, the Olympic Games in Brazil. Patrick Houston qualified as a member of the GB team and believes he is good enough to win an Olympic medal. Here's Nigel Ringland. This is what qualifying for the Olympics looks like. For 20-year-old Patrick Houston, the fulfilment of a dream. I've been working out for years and it's absolutely brilliant to finally, you know, to finally get the t-shirt literally today and kitting out and, you know, I've put an awful lot into it, an awful lot of people have helped me, an awful lot of people are behind me and it'll be great to represent them on the highest stage possible. Patrick Houston, you're a star. I know when I, when I qualified my spot, my coach is a three-time Olympian and double bronze medalist and he shook my hand and said, welcome to the club and that really did mean a lot. With the Olympics now just over a month away, Houston is finalising his preparations and determined to make an impact when the Games begin. The realistic ambition for me is a, is a, is a medal. 
of course I want to be Olympic champion, so does everybody, but I've, I've won a host of tournaments in my, my career uh, up to now, and I plan on winning a host, host on. So, but as much as I want to win it, the fact of getting to Olympic Games, you know, there are so many people in Britain do archery, so many trying to get to Olympic Games, to be able to be that person selected to represent GB at the Olympic Games is just a surreal and incredible experience. And if Houston can be on target in Rio, he might just bring home the ultimate prize. Nigel Ringland, BBC Newsline. Congratulations on winning Athlete of the Week. Thank you very much. How do you feel? Frankly, I'm really pleased. I didn't win it last week when it was St. Patrick's Day, so it's a bit disappointed with that, but it was really nice to come out this week and take the gold medal. Okay, so how did you prepare for today's tournament? To be honest, we've had um, we've had the Danish team over over with us training this week, and I've done a lot of head to heads with them and a lot of intense shooting, so I'm really pleased to be able to bring that standard of shooting to the competition this week and then take the medal. Yeah. So, were there any challenges for you in this tournament? I've had a bit of problem with my uh, balance between my front hand and my back hand. Basically, I've been sending them sort of left and right off the target. And in the final and the, the matches up until then, I'd really worked on getting the balance and that kept them a lot more central. Mm -hmm. And what about things such as like the weather? I mean, do you feel that that affected your shooting? Yeah, today, yeah. today the weather was a definitely a big player. Basically, it was, it was raining pretty much all the day. It stopped for the, for the finals, but um, it was light drizzle the entire day, hence why I'm wearing my jacket in this slightly weird coordination. <laughs> Um, and then on the, the finals field, it got, it, the wind picked up quite a lot. Oh and we were shooting off, um, we were shooting off benches to simulate um, like ray shooting platforms, and that made, meant the wind was a lot more, a lot stronger. And you were being buffeted back and forward around it. Okay. Um, so with these competitions, one of the biggest factors is nerves. How do you feel you deal with nerves? I absolutely love competition. I live for it. If I could, if I could go to competitions and not do any practice and still do well, I'd do that. Like I, I live for competition. It's what I do every weekend. It's by far the best way to improve your archery. Yeah. Uh, so who would you say your biggest rivals are? My biggest rivals, I would say, in terms of rankings at the moment, it's probably um, me, Larry, and Kieran. Mm -hmm. And um, we're sort of up at the up at the top band, but to be honest, it is very close at the moment. Anybody could sort of jump ahead, but we've got a selection shoot in two weeks, and we'll see um, see how that all pans out in the end there. Okay, so when's your next big competition? Well, the next big competition would probably be the selection shoot, but I think something like two weeks after that, the team's flying out to Shanghai. I don't officially know if I'm going to Shanghai yet, but fingers are crossed. Okay, brilliant. Well, congratulations once again on winning the gold medal. Thank you. Very Thank much, you. have a little wander down the beach, see a few people still relaxing out here, but uh, it's always nice to spot a Brit, isn't it? And just over in the distance, there we go, uh, a gentleman, rather optimistically, I think, uh, fishing in the seas off the uh, coast here at Copacabana. Hopefully we'll try and grab a word with him a little bit later on. Fisherman who uh, just actually reeled something in. Uh, yeah. Just first of all, can I just get your name, sir? My name's Alex Houston. I'm from Belfast, Northern Ireland. Okay, and you did just catch something. Where's it gone? I put it back in the sea. I felt it should go back to fight for another day. So kind. Now, can I ask, if you're from Belfast, now, are you here as a fan? Are you here as a relative of a competitor? What? what? I'm here as both a fan and a relative. Okay. So, my younger brother, Patrick Houston, is competing for Team GB. Archery? So, for archery, yes. And, um... My parents and I have come out to support him because it's fantastic to see. Okay, that is fantastic, but what is extraordinary is that you've got this enormous fishing rod here. I have. Did you bring that with you or did you hire it out here? No, it took me 24 hours to find a fishing shop in <laughs> Brazil, and so I went in with my limited Portuguese and bought a fishing rod. Um, is this what you do back home? Is it what you yes. enjoy? Yes, it's a hobby of mine at home, so I've collected a 15-foot rod here with me in Brazil. Okay. They haven't introduced fishing into the Olympics yet, but maybe in a few years' time I could be on the team. Well, actually, uh, yesterday, Dan Walker spoke to an angler down here who caught 10 fish. How are you getting on in comparison? Uh, I got two today, and I got about 10 yesterday, so... Oh, so was it you? It wasn't you? No, then? it wasn't me. No, I'm not everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> now, what else are you going to see apart from the archery? Are you sticking to the archery? Uh, we're we're sticking to the archery. We're gonna. We've been to the opening ceremony, and then we're just gonna walk around. So it's very hard to get tickets for a lot of fans, but 
a lot of archery and then see the sights of this beautiful city. Lovely to meet you. Thank good you. luck on the rest of the fishing and good luck as well to your brother in the archery competition. Thank you very much. Fantastic meeting you and perhaps we'll catch up again. Yeah. Catch some more fish. We'll fry it up here on the beach. Sounds fantastic. I'm actually a little bit peckish. Uh, in the meantime, while we work out what we're going to eat a little bit later on, you can have a look at how you can enjoy this year's Olympics. Now, for reasons that will become apparent, we are all a quiver, because <laughs> Colin is here with the sport. Well, that's very clever, yes. Coming up, how they trusted me and two forest pairs with a lethal weapon. Uh, but first, Derby County manager Paul Clement McLaughlin, that frees up a space in Dougie Friedman's squad. It's a speculation swirls around all sorts of possible moves in and out of the city ground. Today, though, two of the squad were able to focus on something completely different. And so was I. This is Patrick Houston. Just remember the name. He's very likely to be trying to become one of our Olympic heroes in Rio next year. And this is Nottingham Forest defender Eric Lehigh and goalkeeper Dimitar Eftimov. They've never held a bow before. Today they're learning and being footballers, they've just had to make it competitive. If I lose, I give him a tenner. If he loses, he's got to make my coffee, slice by him banana for breakfast and make a brew and get my lunch. Tomorrow, it's a bit training. Steak, so, stakes are yeah. high. Yeah. I'm quite nervous to be honest, but I can't wait to drink that brew. It's gonna be no, so no good. Chance. No yeah. chance. I'm winning today, Paul. So, away they go. Now this is all happening because the National Series Archery Finals are in Nottingham's Woolerton Park this weekend. The best in the country going head to head. Proper pressure. That's what you need to go to an uh, international event. You don't want people that can shoot awesome scores and qualifications. You want people that can get up on that line shooting against somebody on a stage where everyone's watching and beat them. As for our novices, well, they're shooting across about a tenth of the distance the pros do, but they're matching each other blow for blow. So much so that it ends up with a closest to the ball one arrow shoot off. And Dimmy, after being behind throughout, is the one with the nerves of steel. I'm quite happy about that because uh, he has to give me a tenner. Of course, a competitive spirit, a bit of aggression, is just what you need in the championship. Last uh, three games we've turn it around we're starting to get into people's faces and everything and we just want to continue that run hopefully we get a, a win in the next two days against uh, Cardiff. Now somehow at the end this happened they gave the bow to me. Now standard practice would be for me to have a bit of a nightmare but it went all right oh. and then it went better. Come on! So I am laying down a challenge. Well it's a poor one to finish but there is a ten and three nines in there. Dimmy, Eric get back here. I'm slightly scared they're going to accept it, to be honest.